Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome to our Boris Todd Bring- I, I mean Carl Franz playthrough, where is Franzi at the moment? Up here. Uh, uh, where we are playing as the Empire in the Shadows of Change, and it was to see what the start was like, and to be fair, we've had a fairly solid start. We've had our trials and tribulations, but we're doing okay. We are utterly, utterly surrounded by green skins. You may notice that I, I fixed my error from last time where I, um, what are they? No, they're not. I thought they were fighting the greenskins there. My error from last time where I accidentally confederated Gelty Boy. I do want to confederate him. I'm just not ready for it yet because I think it's too much and it would push me down too much. And I, I would have, you know, lots of, basically when I go for him, I need to also be able to start taking on the vampires. So, not quite ready for it, but we will get there. Um, and yeah, and we are, are very aggressively pushing out here. Um, we are going to go straight for Wrecker's Point. <clears throat> then work our way down the coast. Obviously, I, I, it's very risky because obviously we do have the Norskins up there, but we'll see how they go. For now, your entire job is just to keep an eye. I'm not putting any more in Toddy's army for the moment. He's got a fair... In fact, no, I'm going to give him some extra archers. There you go. So he has some ranged firepower in his army as well. But for now, he is just holding the ground. Um, I would like to get hold of Middenheim. But I don't want to start an extra war. Though the fact that Festus is fighting... Azag is great. No. There is no benefit to that for me. I will take the growth, because growth is awesome. We need to save up to level the city up as well, don't we? I guess I should probably fight this, shouldn't I? Let's have a look at the map first before I decide. Oh, sod no. Yes. I am going to feed Nordland. Welcome, my countrymen. Because they're out, they no longer exist, so I'm recreating them Agreed. to create a little buffer state here who is currently at war with no one. So that's perfect, actually. Assuming they stay alive, that's perfect. Pardon me, wants to go north now. No, we're gonna, we're gonna s grab this for myself. And then potentially push north. We'll see how I do. I'd kind of like to force peace with some of these factions. Oh, actually, no. Replenish troops. Yes. The boss man. Yes, please. All of my high-level units get buffed up by that. Which should give some of these guys nice big boosts to their defense. Kind of scary. Some of these guys now have fairly comparable stats. It's kind of scary how much leveling up does buff you. But then again, obviously the other units leveled up will get hugely buffed too. And now, I no longer care. Huzzah! Basically, once I've got the spells I want, I'm more than happy just to leave things. I am France. They will obey. Now. Sigma Start heading down on. towards here. No, no spendy. No spendy spendy build up town. I want to get Altdorf leveled up because it unlocks some of the best. Some really solid buffs for me as well. Hmm. As soon as I can put mods on, I'm putting the... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hmm. 
That's perfect for me, because I've still got 20 turns to deal with that. So by lowering these guys down to 9, they will go up again anyway. So that's absolutely perfect. Yes, to unite the provinces. Pick up the pace. So this one, I want the Pact of the Runefang to really help with a lot of things. Yes, extra research rate. No, 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 no. Spend. No spending money. Imperial Breton our Imperial Bretonian hunting enclave there. Uh, we're going to be very careful we don't go for borders because I suspect that the um, trees might not like us hunting in their land. But yeah, there you go. It's our Imperial hunting enclave of Grusso. I was quite worried about... Um... Ooh, interesting. Stop the war! Yes, that's perfect. By the comet. As is my right by Sigmar's crown. I could just feed. You know what? I am going to feed these into Nordland for is the moment time? because. The A, if I feed all this territory into them, it just creates me a lovely buffer state, which means I can ignore a lot of stuff. Yes, that's what we wanted. It's not necessarily the best thing, you know, it, it's... Income-wise, I would probably be better taking it, but I'd end up messing around with it forever and ever 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 and ever, if you see what I mean. And I'll probably still end up messing around up there, but this way it's somebody else's problem and they will be able to maintain an army where I won't. Uh, I mean, does Sterland even exist? I am Prince and Emperor. Into Start the march. The Empire. Oh, yeah, I probably should have done this earlier. Yes. We're just going to wander over here and keep an eye on you. For no reason. No reason at all. Boris, if he moves, kill him. I keep thinking that's an army, but it's not. They're just following me around trying to trying to assassinate me Great and probably giving me so many hidden buffs. Yeah, but you can give me some um whatever wood elves paying acorns for it. I'm getting quite worried by that rogue army. They're getting quite chonk. In the name of Magnus. Nice! So we are actually doing really well I here. see no other option. Step to it. Right, there's double time up here. If I clear these out, we'll have quite an ascendant Nordland who Approaches are not friend. at war with them yet. The Empire. Come then. Okay, I thought that was helped by uh, Gelt, but ooh, Gelt has um, declared war on the vamps and is doing quite well. Undefeated. Born to rule. It is our responsibility. This shall 
The celestial I will trade with everyone. More money. It's good. I shall permit this I will allow There we go. The nation called. Now There you go. See, I told you it was our private hunting ground. I didn't even, I didn't even realise that was there. That was pure fluke. Really pushing the growth out in Middenheim, and we will prepare. We are going to prepare for the war with Azag. Once we've dealt with the north, the war with the the war with the Greenskins will commence. The Bretonia has been forested. Um, quite worryingly. I do not want to have to deal with this horrificness, but... Then again, I say that external, outside of their main settlement, they're not terrible to deal with. So, I am France. They will obey. Make haste, men. March. Festus is dead. Okay, that means I am definitely on the radar for them. What does the Emperor bid? The Empire. May as well get that out. I don't the think they can stand. Well, that is all I ever want. No need for military access. It gains me nothing. It gains them nothing at this point. In fact, it can potentially be annoying later on as they if they start traversing my territory. Now, Azag, while he's big and powerful and has a lot of territory, it's very vulnerable. He's kind of got a squiggle through the empire. Um, which, if I can close down, is going to really make him pay. Yeah, I can afford the prestige more. I will marshal the bed. Bring me to my men. Ulrich's will. As is my right by Sigmar's crown. <laughs> That's not bad. That's very good. I will want all of those, but mentor. I'm going to grab mentor as well because that's just useful for people like Boris down here who are playing a more defensive role for the time being. Praise Sigma. There we go. So we're staying fairly stable. I know I'm not playing the meta, guys. Meta would be taking everything with myself, building it up. But this is a more fun way of playing, if you see what I mean. See, I'd almost try and build the empire so if you get more money when it's separate. command here Men, we must attack oh okay Kislev is gone <clears throat> oh, wow Nordland is definitely becoming ascendant who calls Definitely want to push that off way to the top. Um, right now, I'm done with you as well. So my um, not paladin. Um, 
um, chaplet? Um, brain? Can't remember what they're called? <laughs> Tell me in the comments what they're called, guys, because I can't remember. Usefully, um, Wolfric has not declared war on these guys. There you go, you see. Um, I'm going to assert their independence because, again, the whole purpose of this was to try and put ourselves to a stable position. And this is now very stable for us. So they will build themselves up, which will be really solid for us. They are bigger than me. <laughs> Which is ridiculous. I mean, who holds it? Summon the Elector Counts. No, I'm not going that way. We are going to prepare to reclaim Middenheim. There we go. Nice. And actually, they've lost territory there. But Toddy is going to push back towards Altdorf at full speed, just in case. And we are going to start getting some Imperial gunnery out as well. There we go. Soon, we will be able to start pumping out some really quite nice armies. And actually, we're at a point now where I may even accept our next confederation offer from Gelt, because he's nice and consolidated now, which will make it easier to deal with, I say, as he loses some territory there, the but... College nope. The Empire is... it's interesting. I love the fact I've made Nordland bigger than me. Okay, Toddy, you're gonna go here and you're actually gonna get some troops and we are going to go wipe those gits off the face yes, of the earth. Lord. Who calls in the name of Magnus? Onwards! Middenheim will be reclaimed. What does the Emperor bid? Hmm. That's not bad. But that's better for us at the moment. There we go. I love the fact that we've made Nordland bigger than us. It's kind of weird to do, but it's beneficial. It means I do not have to worry about Norska. If they can sit there and provide a good, solid ba bastion barrier... I mean, they're not at war with Norska. Norska can still creep through their territory towards me, but they're less likely to. Ooh. Nice. Ready. Speak. Fire. Well, okay, worth we'll a look. I believe it is time, guys. Unite the provinces. Mittenheim will be reclaimed. This is definitely. Oh, oh what is it? Warrior Priest, this is definitely a risky move on my part, but... The Empire. Mittenheim has been reclaimed. That is the key. I will marshal the men. To strengthen the Empire. 
to the provinces. Nice. So we now have two full provinces. Same as our allies. <laughs> our allies have like three full provinces. Nordland has three full provinces now. So, this is a trick, dangerous move, but we are right at the tip of, of Azag's expansion, and he's been being hit at various other places, so he's clearly still fighting. While he's big and powerful, that big and powerful does not help him when he's got nothing here. I'm sorry, it's being taken straight away. Yes. At some point, take a couple of turns to get some extra Reichsguard. Oh, if I take four turns to recruit, yes, maybe I won't. Ah, here it comes. Right. They may get got rid of, but this is simply uh, uh, getting stuff out quickly because your uh, Packmaster is going around, which I, I did say was probably going to happen at some point, so I'm not overly worried by that. fight there is no way in hell I'm winning I got I did not know he's there I should have had agents out there's me saying this is oh this is a lovely place to fight however however Azag is the actual Dane if it wasn't for Azag I'd be relatively confident I could win as Azag is here I'm not so sure I fear I may lose But I will make them pay. So this is the danger of doing what I just did. I did say it was a risky move. Starting out like that, uh, first thing is going to be to actually try and push out and wipe Cross them out. To be fair, let's let them come to me. And to be fair, uh, let's move these guys up to give them some support. These guys are going to go ping deal with their ranged, and then they're going to fold into the back. Come on! Break there! Break them! Fire, 
Okay, I actually need these guys in a bit quicker. What? Yes, my lord. For France! The Empire and George! Spearman! We serve the Emperor! Okay, I'm a little concerned by the fact I'm losing on one of those flanks. These guys seem to be kind of scary. You guys aren't really doing much. I did not realise Orc Arrow Boys were quite so um, tough. I'm going to be honest. Oh shit, Azag's already here. Yeah, I'm fucked. <laughs> and they've already broken through. I didn't do anywhere never near enough damage here, guys. Wow. Yeah, how not to fight a battle, guys. I'm not going to get anything else there. I actually made it worse by fighting it. God damn. God damn. Damn, Azag. Okay, so we need to double time down here with Franzi. Unfortunately, Boris kind of needs to stay where he is, and we've just lost part of Reichland and potentially part of our construction me mechanisms. So we're in trouble, guys. I mean, we'll cope with it. These campaigns are more fun when there's trouble. I'm still intrigued where the changeling is as well, because I've not seen him in ages. I suspect I'm getting super sneaky settlements underneath us all. Bring me to my men. Oh, damn. I see no other option. What? Get on with it. Welcome, my countrymen. I mean, I could just give a Marienburg. It doesn't actually make me much. It literally makes me zero. Who calls? Right. Welcome, my countrymen. That way, I can right. ignore it. Bring the Toddinator up. I'm not too worried about Altdorf because Altdorf has one hell of a garrison. Doesn't mean I'm not concerned at all, but I think Altdorf can probably hold out for a few turns while we reposition. Oh, I didn't even notice they'd reclaim territory there just beforehand, so yeah, I was utterly foolish. But actually, I've still got to keep an eye on Norska, but. We'll see. Toddy's kind of there just to offer moral support, right? Yeah, I thought they'd do that. So they're coming up around this way. So Toddy's going to need to go back now. Yes, the nation calls. So, onwards! Mm. Praise Sigma! Everything is fine. Everything is fine. They're going to hold there just in case. That one awkward friend is probably going to be disbanded very shortly. 
I n the, the, the double timing down to face off against Azag is definitely a risky move. And that is something we will see the fight for next time. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I do hope you are enjoying this playthrough. Next time we have a fun fight to do. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, other than that, guys, I, as always, an extra special thank you to my channel members and patrons. That's Monsters Abound, Philip F., Nose Nose, Andrew T., Batari, Brandon, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason F., Egg, Scrin, and Jared Horn. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Cheers, all.